Hey everybody, Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com. Welcome into the show and we are glad you're here. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit like and subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you join the Vostok Europe Timepieces group on Facebook. It is a closed group. It is the most active group of fans of the watches at R2AWatches.com. You won't regret it. You'll enjoy every minute you're a part of that group. Today, we are talking about the Gaz Limo collection from Vostok Europe. Now, Vostok Europe is a boutique brand based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Every watch is 100% designed there in, in their headquarters in Vilnius, and they hand assemble every watch there as well. If you want to know more about Vostok Europe, in terms of voluminous material, they, we have links to videos uh, below on YouTube. We have links on Facebook. They're also available at our blog at r2awatches.com or on our channel at r2awatches and YouTube. You definitely want to learn more about this brand if you don't know anything about it. Uh, but we're going to focus just specifically uh, in these videos on one watch at a time, maybe two. So today we are talking about a watch from the Gaz Limo Collection. It is a world timer from the Gaz Limo Collection. Now, every watch in Vostok Europe has a story. They build the watch around a theme. Uh, in this particular case, it is based on the Gaz 14 limousine, which was a uh, a, a, a Russian limousine that was the, basically the main transportation for dignitaries in Russia back in the 70s. Uh, the reason that they picked this one is because it actually had a lot of technical innovations for its day. Um, it was the one that, that Nixon and Brezhnev drove around Red Square. Um, it has a rich history and uh, the, the original watch, which actually is quite similar still on this dial, uh, the dial was based on the dashboard clock of the limousine. So that's the story part of it. So let's get into this specific watch and tell you about the important features of this one and why you want to put this one in your collection. So as I mentioned, as I get this off of the strap here so that I can more easily share it with you up here. As I mentioned, this is a world timer. So let's see, what do I want to talk about first? Well, I like to give a quick rundown of the specs. So let me give a quick rundown of the specs first, and then we'll get into the actual mechanics of the watch and how it works. This is a 42 millimeter timepiece. So by today's standards, that would be considered a traditional size, uh, not too small, but certainly not in the range that is was quite popular now in terms of larger watches. Uh, so 42 is one of those uh, kind of Goldilocks sizes as well. I don't know. These days, you know, I got to tell you, being a watch designer now, size, case size, that's one of the toughest decisions you make. Um, but this is a 42. So for those of you who aren't into the big watches or you want something in your collection that's a, that's a smaller watch, that's more of a traditional size, this is a great option for you. This has the K1 mineral crystal front and back. K1 is the uh, mineral crystal process. It's the same as Gorilla Glass and it fits right in the middle on the Mohs scale, the Mohs hardness scale between sapphire and mineral. So you get nearly the scratch resistance of sapphire and you get nearly the shatter resistancy of mineral. Now, a lot of Vostok Europe watches, if those of you are familiar with the brand, you know that their slogan is for going to extremes. A lot of Vostok Europe watches are true uh, sport watches, watches designed for, you know, diving, hiking, uh, boating, anything, you know. This is more of a dress watch. Uh, this is actually 5 ATM, which is not, you know, at the level where you could do diving or anything like that. You you can get away with some light swimming, but it's really more for water splashes, getting caught in the rain and so forth, because this is intended to be more of a dress timepiece than most of the other. In fact, the Gaz Limo collection is arguably the only collection that, that Vostok Europe still has that you would call being in the dress watch category. Everything else is really a sport watch. But Vostok Europe, Igor and his team, yes, his name is Igor, uh, wanted to keep uh, at least one collection available because even the most um, ardent collector of Vostok Europe that loves the sport watches still would like to have one or two Vostok Europe's in their collection that they can wear in a dressier environment. Now, this actually, though, kind of splits the difference a little bit because it is a very sporty looking dial. And the reason that this dial is so sporty looking is this is a full loom dial. That means that from one edge of the case to the other, the entire dial is fully luminous. And we're actually going to cut the lights here and I'm going to show you, let me let me give it a little, little more juice over here, and then I'm going to show you what this looks like in the dark because it is, if I can get this, there we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Guys, I what can I say? The loom on this is just off the hook. And I, I want you to know, 
this is live. I mean, you know, I'm doing, I'm showing you this as we are filming this and you are seeing it. This is so, there's no enhancement here. This is not being edited in Photoshop or anything like that. You are seeing the loom on this watch as it will be on your wrist. Um, you know, I just charged it up a few seconds here in the light while we've been talking and you can look at the pop of the loom. So you definitely, if you are a loom fan and this is true Swiss Super Luminova, on this so you are getting the highest quality loom available so uh, we'll move back and, and and now turn the lights back on but um as you can see it is really really bright so that is one of the key features of this watch now i mentioned that it is a uh it's a dual time world timer the engine of this watch that drives that is the 32 joule vostok 2426 movement. Now, I want to be clear, and it's important to point out that Vostok is a different company than Vostok Europe. Vostok Europe is based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Vostok is based in Chistopol, Russia. Uh, they are the oldest and largest continuously operating Russian watch manufacturer. Uh, they still make watches and they make movements. And the movement in this watch was built by them. Originally, when Vostok Europe first started, this movement was proprietary to Vostok Europe. You could only get it in a Vostok Europe timepiece. That has changed over the years, um, mostly due to the evolution of Vostok Europe. And I, I got to tell you, uh, there's a recent something has come up. Vostok Europe has made a decision, a corporate decision, to no longer use the Vostok movements at all. And the primary reason for that is because the cost of the Vostok movements has gone through the roof. Um, and that's not so much about Vostok as uh, the economic situation in Russia. And to borrow money in Russia, the VIG on it has gotten to be so high that Vostok has had to raise their prices so much on the movements that they just don't really make sense for Vostok Europe anymore. Um, and they're also focusing on the Seiko movements. And as you know, if you know anything about Vostok Europe, you know that they are usually the first watch outside of Seiko that uses any of their movements that haven't been released yet. Um, so if you want a Vostok Europe with the Vostok movement in it, you need to grab what's in one of our watches, this one, if you love it, or one of the other watches in our stock that has the Vostok movements in them, because with I would say within a year, maybe even less, they will no longer be available and we won't be able to get any more. Um, so that's something for you to consider if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on this one. Also, if you're new to Vostok Europe, if you don't own one, or uh, this is a really good starter watch for Vostok Europe. It is, it is one of the more affordable um, I kind of hate that word because everything is affordable depending upon what you want. But it is one of the lower priced, you know, in, in the lower price range, uh, the lower third of Vostok Europe pricing. So it, it's a great watch to just try out the brand and, and see if it's something that you would want to have in your collection. And explain how the world timer function actually works on this watch. Now, if you look at the, the, the dial, you'll see that there are actually four hands on this dial, not three like would normally be in a three hand watch configuration. This additional hand here is the one that you use for doing your, uh, for the second time zone, for, for using it for dual time. Now it's important to point out that the secondary time zone on this watch is in the 24 hour scale. That means that this other hand goes around the watch once every 24 hours, just like, <clears throat> just like a military timepiece would be. Um, so you need to be aware of that. Now this operates like a world timer. So basically, let's see, you've got it's 10, uh, 15 on this watch. Let's say that you are in New York. Oh, I'm, I'm using the wrong crown, excuse me. You want to turn, oh, I want to back up just a little bit. It's a really great system for how this internal rotating bezel works. And you know, I love internal rotating bezels. Uh, Vostok Europe actually created a system where there are ball bearings in there that drop into place when you move it to the, to the place that you want to reduce the risk of bumping it and it moving to another city while you're wearing the watch. Um, and I really, they actually invented that system and it's really, really cool. Um, so you can't really tell with the video, but there's this, you turn and then it locks into place, but it's not a screw down crown. It actually locks uh, more easily than that. So it's, it's a really ingenious system. So the way you use the world timer is Let's say you're in New York and you want to know what time it is in, well, 
course, I'm going to be interested in this, in Vilnius in this particular case. Where's Vilnius on here? Okay. You're going to set New York at the current time. All right. And then the, the watch then knows because of where they're set up on the 24 hour scale. When you look over here at Vilnius, all right, so we've got 1015, let me get that little pointer. We're at 1015 New York time. You want to know what it's in in Vilnius. You look over here and you see that Vilnius is at 3. So that means 3 a.m. actually because it's a 24-hour scale. And that is exactly right because Vilnius is seven hours ahead of New York. So one of the things about this one, this is not an automatic world timer that actually will update itself. Uh, there are some more sophisticated uh, movements out there that cost way more than this watch does that that can actually automatically set that so so in order to you know continue to be able to tell what the second time zone is you actually have to move the rotating bezel so um, you move the hands to another hour let's say and we're going to move ahead to uh, let's just call it 1225 now you're going to move new york to the current time on the 24 hour scale that's important that you're going to set the origination time uh, the origination city in where the time is on the 24 hour scale at this in this particular case it happens to be 2400 which matches and then you're going to see that vilnius has now moved to 7 a.m seven hours ahead now i'm not going to do it for the sake of time in this video, but you could do it exactly the reverse, meaning that if you're in Europe and you want to know what time it is in, in the U.S., when you set the time, say, in Geneva, you're going to look backwards six hours to see what the time is, what, whatever, or six if you're East Coast, if you know, more if you're going to be in one of the, one of the other time zones in the U.S. And it, so it works exactly the opposite way. So that's how the world timer works on this. Um, so basically, you've got, you've got the world timer, you've got uh, a full loom dial, 42 millimeter, uh, the K1 mineral, both, both front and back, comes with a really, really high quality leather strap. Oh, and there's another option too. I like to always show uh, maybe some strap options that are possible for you. This strap was not in intended for this watch. It wasn't made. This was actually a, a strap that was built for either the radio room or the N1 rocket. But it does fit. It's available at r2awatches.com as well. It fits this watch. It's a NATO, and we really think that's a cool color combination. Maybe you don't. We like it. It gives. We think it gives an alternate look to the watch, which we we like to offer those alternate looks. So that is the Gaz Limo World Timer with the 32 Joule Vostok. Oh, and it is a nice decoration, by the way, on the back. The, the movement is, what did I do with my wiping cloth? Yeah, did I? Ah, there it is. I'm going to wipe the back again. So it is a it is a beautifully decorated movement with the the decorated rotor where you've got the furnace blue screws. It, it really looks nice. And I want to reiterate, Vostok Europe is no longer going to be making new watches with this movement. So if you want one in your collection, you need to pick it up now. All right. Well, that's the Vostok Europe Gas Limo World Timer. I'm Craig Hester, and hey, for r2awatches.com, keep watching.